this will be a very good slide during this pandemic period and you know everything is happening through online so the teaching also it's happening online and the teachers can use this slide to show the the top performers in the class or who got the the first second or third prize or you can use it for the official purpose also to show the employee of the month or for some other purpose you can use this slide so uh, how this slide works is as you can see here the winner podium i have created completely in powerpoint and i have put some uh, 3d uh, cups here you can see here the bigger cup for the first prize winner and you can add the name here and then i have added the second and the third cup with uh, some smaller size and how the slide works is when i click a spotlight will come and then the image of the winner will appear here and on my second click the second winner will come here and the third image winner will come here so let me just show you how it works when i click you can see here he is the first prize winner the image a bigger image comes here then she's the second prize winner and he is the third prize winner and you can see here the spotlights are blinking in the background giving some good animation effect i have created one more slide also where i have just put the winner uh, images on the top of the podium you can see here like this also you can use it or you can use it just adding the name also here so whichever way you like you can use this particular template so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill in this case i have taken a blue gray color combination then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle in the center you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and you can give any gray color or if you want you can give some uh, gradient fill also for this then i'm going to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid you can see here draw the trapezoid and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill maybe you can give white and you can see a small orange point just drag it inside something like this and then reduce the size so you can see here you need to reduce the size something like this let me just reduce the width also and then right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to effects go to 3d rotation presets I'm going to select maybe this one which is the perspective relax moderately you can see here and then go to 3d format increase the depth you can see here you can increase the depth and then you can just go to lighting you can select maybe the two point so you can see here some lighting effect has been created and still if you want you can just reduce the size move it somewhat back so it looks something like this. So once this is done, I'm just going to select this, press Ctrl G to group, Ctrl D to duplicate and this reduce the size and just put it here and then send this to back. Again, I'm just going to select this and I'm going to give some shadow effect. You can give any shadow effect, maybe center, something like this. Let me just reduce, uh, increase the width and then I'm going to select this control D. So this is the, the third winner. I'm going to reduce the size. You can see here. So this is one, two and three. So let me just select this and this one just send this to back. So you can see here and I'm going to add one more shape as a platform maybe I can just choose this one you can see here Control C click outside and Control V and then I'm just going to increase the size you can see here I'm just increasing the size and I'm going to increase the depth also maybe I can increase the depth you can see here more depth I can give and if you want we can just change the color direction or whatever you want you can just put as per your requirement and then let me just increase it further format send this to back so you can see here this is the the foundation or the base and then i can give some shadow effect for this let me just give the bottom one and increase the distance all right 
now one more thing you can give here one more shape you can give where it looked like a shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering this shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select gradient fill so this one i'm just going to remove the gradient fill one i'm going to select a black color and the second one i'm going to select the color which i have used here then type make it linear and direction the black one should be at the bottom like this you can see here and this one make it fully transparency and this also you can increase the transparency effect so you can see here some kind of a shadow effect has been created on this let me just bring it more down so it looks something like this now I'm going to give the options here one two and three go to insert text and I'm just going to type one make it bold whichever font you want to choose it you can choose the font you can keep it here any any specific color you are looking for you can use that color maybe let me just give some what increase the size so this is one press ctrl d so here i'm just going to add two i'm going to reduce the size a little bit and then ctrl d this will be the third one all right and now you can add the icons here or if you have any shapes or whatever you can add it here so if i can go to the insert and you can see here there's an icon and there's a 3d model so this 3d model is available only the latest version of powerpoint if you don't have this one you can search on the net and get some good images here but i'm just going to use the 3d model here so you can see here let me just select the celebration and i'm just going to select this and insert so this is the 3d model you can see here i'm just going to reduce the size and i'll just keep it here so this is 3d model i can just change the way i want the position press ctrl d this is for the second one if you have some different designs also you can keep it or add it and for the third one it will be a little smaller so you can see here so this way you can add this one and then i'm going to add some images of the students or of the staff or whoever got the first second and third uh, price for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape either you can do this one or directly you can go to insert and pictures and select the picture so let me just show you how to do that one so if you have some pictures ready just click on the pictures and select the image which you want to insert here so i have inserted three images some random images which i have downloaded from the net you can see here these three images i have downloaded and then what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, convert this into a oval shape for that i'm going to select all these three images you can go to crop you can see here crop to shape i'm just going to select the oval shape so you can see a perfect oval shape has been created and then you can give some shadow effect which is inner you can give top left something like this and if you want you can increase the distance also so this uh, person is first one let me just reduce the size a little bit and i'm going to place it here maybe this lady is the second winner so i'm just going to reduce the size and i'm going to place it here and this person is third one i'm just going to make somewhat smaller and then i'm just going to place it at the third position here so like this you can just add the images or if you want you can add the image on the top or whichever way you like you can just do it now it's time to add some spotlights here so for this let me just move this one here and later on we can just bring it back so what i'm going to do is uh, go to insert shapes you can select a rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white and then go to the effects and here you can see a soft edges that increase the size you can see here and then i'm just going to make it somewhat outside of the 
uh, the slide area and then go to insert shapes I'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid you can see here reduce the size from the top something like this and shape outline make it no outline and this also I'm going to give some gradient fill for this and again I'm the type I'm going to select linear let me just delete this here on the top I'm going to make it a white you can see here the white here and at the bottom I'm going to select the color which is of the background and I can just make it fully transparent so it looks something like this and you can increase the preset here so you can see here a, a light effect has been created so I'm just going to copy this Control D and I'm just going to paste it here Control G to group it and then you can a little bit tilt it all right and press Control D and tilt the other side so you can see here something like this you can make it if you want you can just increase or you can make it more or this one I can just select and I can just make it something like this also you know so I can just reduce it and I can just add one more uh, trapezoid alright so like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill white and I'm going to increase the transparency effect you can see here and then I'm just placing it something like this you can see here let me just make it more transparent press ctrl D you can see here just rotate it like this you can make it some shadow effects and here also you can just rotate and then give some shadow effect something like this and make sure that all this one it's behind the let me just select all one by one you can hold the shift key and select one by one you can see here like this you can select and then go to format send this to back and then just bring back the cups and all those things what you have placed this one has to bring to front this also you can bring it and do something like this before adding the animation let's group it first so let me just close the format background again i need to move this i should have done this uh, before doing this one so i'm just going to select this and this you can see here this two and i'm going to group it press ctrl g to group it you can see here and again i'm going to select this as well as this this and this you can see here it's already group i believe yeah this is already group so i'll just put this back here and this also i'm just going to put this here So now let's add the animation go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this first and i'm going to give a wipe effect wipe effect make it from top and it should come very fast so the timing i'm going to make it 0 0.01 so it comes very fast on a click and then you can add this particular uh, image you can see here this one which is actually gone behind this one this one for this i can give a uh, add animation appear you can see here it should come appear it should happen after previous and this also appear should be very fast so it's uh, no timing for actually appear and then what you can do is you can add one more animation effect on this so for that i'm going to add animation and you can go to the more emphasis and then select the blink here you can see a blink and click ok and double click this timing make it very fast and then you can make it until end of the slide and click ok and this should happen also after previous so let me just pull this one here and let me just show you how it works 
when I click you can see here it is blinking so if it is either it's very fast you can make it maybe medium also you can see here something like this so the same thing you can just do for the the other also you can just select this one copy animation and put it on the second and third options